Okay, here we go again. It is the Man Fuse Podcast. Kaylee here, audio producer, voice artist, my co-host, real estate broker, real estate agent. He is Mr. Real Estate. So today we're going to continue talking about our journey with Man Fuse Productions and the evolution into a company that we are now deeming Foo Media, F-U Media, Follow Up Media, and how none of this would be possible if we didn't start on the podcast journey itself. You never know when you start going down a road what other roads and opportunities open up. And I think it's a good reminder for us all to just keep going down the road. So Ben, did you hear the audio I sent you? Well, I sent you a little something the other day. You did? Yeah, I mean, I was just playing around. It was a little Uh. audio. Foo Media. <laughs> Dude, I love it. No, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. I, we must have been at the... Hold on, I got to do it again. Yeah, that was it. sick, dude. Foo Media. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is freaking awesome, dude. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Foo Media. Foo Media. Well, I recorded it like eight and I was like, Foo Media. Foo Media. I love the, what is that, a motorcycle or a race car? I don't know. It's just it's this crazy awesome. sound. I like the build. It's yeah, like, it's like, <laughs> ah. I, I feel like it could be a little shorter, probably 15 seconds. It probably could be seven seconds. Just If you don't know what Foo Media is, so we have been restructuring, reorganizing, um, and, you know, kind of making moves that uh, are going to lead us into the future. And, yeah. you know, the Man Fused podcast, which was the original concept that Ben and I, you know, met with and, and started building, turned into this other whole other thing in general um, that could lead down five other paths, led us to launching a production company. You know, Ben could probably better describe this, that, you know, Ben has a, he loves, you know, um, typography i guess what you can do when you spell out man fuse you have this f u which has kind of been this thing that we've since the beginning since you started playing with the typography and kind of working out well you know what is it going to look like you've kind of made the f u bigger or a different different color color. so kind of really you know hitting home fuck you well f u f u which not really you it's just an f and a u right but it's kind of funny. So, you know, which we had launched what we thought was Man Fuse Productions. And, but we kind of started coming up with this. You kind of came up with this thing that why don't we, you know, what are we? We're a media company. Right. Could be Man Fuse Media, which that's what we thought of too. But yeah. why not? Fu Media, which to me sounded cool, like almost like Kung Fu, yeah, like Kung Fu, Fu Media. Yeah, and, and yeah, then, yeah. And then <laughs> Fu Media. Um, and then we would have the Man Fused podcast. Right. That Fu is bold right. inside that. It's tied into the brand, right? And we could branch off from there. And I right. think that seems to be the direction we're going. Yeah. So Fu Media is the podcast production. It's well, the whole production. It's, it's the it's, production. It's company. the media company. Now it's the media company that ultimately created the Manfuse podcast. Correct, and it's going to be creating it. other products and, yeah. and services and things like that. If you know anybody, by the way, who ought to have a podcast, or if you think that you are interested in having a podcast, and I got to say, you know, many of the guests that we've had really ought to have their own podcast. And so we're circling around with them. And I know a lot of the people in our audience, we've got a lot of entrepreneurs. We've got a lot of really talented people. And if you aren't an entrepreneur, that's cool. But you know. I mean, it's all good, but you you have an interest. Right. You know of somebody that is an entrepreneur or that is a leader in business or an industry. And it doesn't matter what industry. The whole point is that it's 2023. And I'm going to just lay down some straight facts for you. If you're a leader in business and industry and you're not embracing the concept and the medium of podcasting as a way to establish yourself even more of a leader and a source 
It's like not having a website. Now, can you imagine being a leader or a business owner in this day and age and not having a website? You wouldn't be in business. That's right. And it's the same for podcast. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be in business if you don't have a podcast. There are so many levels of benefit of what it does for your company, for your leadership, for mm -hmm. your expertise. Yes. And so many like cross promoting. If it's a big corporation with lots of employees, there's an internal use and benefit for establishing a private type podcast just for your organization. That's right. Financial advisors, real estate agents, anyone that's in business for themselves that has to build this book of business. Yes. Are potential candidates. Yes. And what we have done, we have seen the need. And you might say, oh, everybody and their mother has a podcast. But in reality, while the number continues to grow, they don't. Not everybody and their mother has a podcast. Now, it does seem like you hear about, oh, I've got a podcast. That's right. Because it is becoming more embraced of and course. more utilized, and it will. But not everybody and their mother has a podcast. When you really get down to the numbers of it and the ability to establish yourself and your business as a leader in that field, the opportunity is there. You just need to seize it. Now, what holds people back? The exact same reason that most people don't do it is if you're already successful, you don't have the time to learn, okay, I don't know anything about editing and launching. Well, and it's just like a website. You're not going to sit there and design your own website, typically. Most people won't. Most people won't. They don't realize that they, they can't. It's almost like painting your own house. But, you know, even a website, you know, you can kind of establish your website, and then for the most part, it's done. You might right. have to make tweaks. But a podcast is an ongoing animal. Completely different animal. That, that requires editing. Video, editing audio, putting it together, doing your social posts, creating promo clips. That's right. Uploading the segments, doing the transcription. I mean, there's a million things. And then structuring it in a way that is really attacking your audience. That's right. And, and marketing it in a way that you're going to receive the benefit. But yes. businesses and leaders already have a built-in audience. Right. It's just, how are they going to take advantage of it? You know, the Manfuse podcast, you might say, you know, I am a member and an employee and a part of the syndicated morning show, the Burt Show. Some people, oh, well, you have a built-in audience because you're part of that. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yes, it has gotten us some listeners, but I don't talk about it every day on the Burt Show. Yes, I might have a little bit more of an advantage than Joe Schmo in his basement who works at Starbucks, maybe. But I don't have a built-in audience of a thousand buyers no. that I can immediately take advantage of and right. start utilizing a podcast to speak and educate. I want to throw a shout out to whoever it was that made us our wooden man fuse podcast sign. That is Hayward Designs, I believe. Is the Thank exact you, name. Hayward Designs. That oh. was cool, man. And I've already reached out to them, Ben, actually. Oh, that's cool. To see what a giant one, what he's referencing is somebody laser cut yeah. the Manfuse podcast logo out of wood. Yeah. It's a magnet. It's sitting on my refrigerator. It's awesome. Is it's it got, upstairs? Yes. Oh, cool. So you can touch it and play with it. I would like to but see I it. But I said- um, It looks cool as hell. What would that look like if it was three feet long and- That's what she a said. A foot and a half high. <laughs> and I don't know if three It'd feet- It'd be awesome. Is three feet long big enough, though? Is that even a big enough length? Oh, yeah, dude. That's killer. And, you know, I mean, dude, I've got a great sign company that can cut us one that we oh, can just stick on the wall. Well, no. she. I mean, they already hit me back. Oh, cool. I didn't give them the height, but I gave them a length of three feet long. They said it was like, be 90 bucks. I was like, 90 bucks? Duh. Like, we need, <laughs> we, need to, we need to put some light on it. Yeah. Up light that thing. Things, though, on Foo Media side are stacking like crazy. Yeah, we've got We a have formed a lot of partnerships with people that are that know a lot of people that are, are working with us to um, spread our message. And the service we offer is a turnkey solution. The only thing that we are going to require that leader to do after we show them what to do is just hit record and then hit stop and then 
transfer the audio or have somebody that works for them transfer the audio to us yeah. and the video and that's basically it. record stop send yeah that's and, that's pretty much and what if you have down. somebody to send that send then the only thing you have to do is hit record, record. Stop. or if you have somebody to hit record then let them do it too so if you know anybody out there that is a leader in business or industry this could be a solution that can help them yeah bring their success and their um leadership to a whole new level. You just said something that, that just was ringing to my ears. Ooh, okay. You said, if you. If you. And I thought of F you. Oh, if you. It's pretty so close. Oh, if you and F you. F you. So if you know. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, so. Seriously, and one of the things that I think is going to be one of our greatest achievements in regards to that is partnering with marketing companies who are doing people's branding and they're doing ad campaigns and they're doing... Uh, websites and they're doing these these types of things for businesses already. I think that Fu Media coming in as the production side for them to be able to offer to their clients a full service turnkey solution. So if you own a marketing company or you know somebody that owns a marketing company, you know the ability to offer your clients a turnkey solution to get their message out there via a podcast is a really great thing to be able to offer your clients. So hit us up. Yeah. Or if you know, send us the referral or the lead and we will follow up in quick fashion. Oh yes. Before you even finish typing it, I will have already been on the phone with That's them. That's right. We thank you for the support and, and it's all because of this concept that we started a year and a half ago, which That's is right. the man fuse podcast. And really the man fuse podcast consists of the man fuse podcast audience and so we thank you guys everybody guys girls grandmas grandpas whoever's listening kids hopefully i don't know thank you you guys have been on this ride with us we really appreciate other worldly beings that might you know a lot of my good friends a lot of people i know listen to this podcast and but mostly it's people that we don't know personally that that listen and it's people all over the world um, and so we really appreciate you listening and we hope you'll engage with us and, and continue listening. Yeah. And for those in Estonia where Ooh. we've been charting, um, ah, Estonia's uh, charting, huh? Yes. I don't even know where that is. Estonia, formerly the Republic of Estonia hmm? is a country by the Baltic sea in hmm. Northern Europe. Nice. Northern. It is bordered to the North by the Gulf of Finland ah. across from Finland. To the west, by the sea, across from Sweden. To the south, by Latvia. And to the east, by Lake Pipus and Russia. Territory of Estonia consists of the mainland, the larger islands, and over 2,200 other islands. Well, like an island life sounds cold, though. Yeah. To those in Estonia, we thank you for listening. And, and we love you. And we do love you. And we and hope you're staying warm. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it's hot in Estonia. Oh, no. Right it's, now. it's, it's, it's. Right it's, now, it's cold? It's butt cold in Estonia. I mean, by our standards, I guarantee it. Let's pull up the old weather app and see if we, see if Apple knows anything about Estonia weather. Um, well, you said it's near Finland. Finland is definitely a colder region. Oh, yeah. But even during the summer, I mean, I wonder what summers in Finland look like. 64 degrees right now. That's beautiful. Lows 58, yeah. high is 70. That sounds glorious because it's like a fucking sweat box here. You know, they probably get a chill. It sounds a lot cooler and, and uh, wonderful. less humid than here. Yeah, it sounds and amazing. Where we're pasty and yeah. fucking, it's just gross. You walk That's outside, right. you're like, ugh. Yeah, so hit us up at manfuse.com. Whether you have a uh, show topic you want to talk about, you got drama going on in your life, you got a referral for Foo Media, 770-744-5227. Let's plug some merch. We're going to need to do a merch upgrade here yeah. um, with some stuff. But if you haven't hit up um, our merch store, do so because there's still some cool gear. There. I got some cool stuff coming. Manfuse.com. We'll talk to you soon. Foo Media.